Good morning everybody, it's Pam from Nana's Crafting Cottage back with you again today. This is part two of our Tall Snowman Journal. Um, so I wanted to today put, uh, do the cover on it and decorate it. And I have all my items here and I think I'm going to put them like right about like that because where I have these paper clips is where the spine will go and it'll be a hidden spine for the signature. Um, first of all, before I get started, thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate every last one of you. Um, and I am glad you're here with me. So hopefully you'll follow through with what I am doing on the this series. And It'll probably be maybe a four part, I'm guessing. If it needs to be longer, then I'll let you know. <laughs> but at least, you know, three or four part. So I'm not going to take up a whole lot of your time today. Um, but I do want to get these on. And I do have a little ditty that I may, or put together anyway. This I crystallized or sugared with the um, rock candy from uh, Tim Holtz and this is a piece of um, uh, bling <laughs> that I had on hand. It's in a strand so I just clipped it off and then a little red bow that I got off of Amazon. Isn't that cute? I just love it. And sugaring these little uh, candy canes, these little clay candy canes is so easy. It's just so easy. So much fun. Anyway, I'm really pleased. <laughs> and then on the decoration, I will also have this vintage doily, crochet doily, and little snowman from this kit, and I put gold gilding wax around it like I did on the uh, cover pieces too. So we'll get that put together. And then for the inside, I also um, gild the, gilding waxed these pieces. So they'll go on either side. And this is just some scrap paper that I thought happened to go with the kit. And I have a whole bunch of other um, things to decorate with later. So without further ado, let's go. Um, yeah, so I hope everybody's having a good day. It's bright and sunny here in Oregon, uh, Northwest Oregon. And um, supposed to not have rain for a little while, hopefully. That's what it says today anyway, or an hour ago. <laughs> um, if it's anything like where you live, we wait five minutes and it changes. So, yeah. Now I'm going to put this these panels down with Fabrifix. Um, it is for fabric, specifically. So is Fabri-Tac, but... I found that I have better luck with this not hardening up right away. I mean, as far as in the container, I've had this container for quite a while and it still moves quite freely. It's not dried up at all or anything. So I just stick with it. Okay, I think I'll put it right about, now here's the line here. So I'll put him there. Smoosh him down. And I am going to, like I said, have a hidden spine for the signature and I've wrapped it in this fabric so you won't hardly be able to tell um, unless you're really looking close. But it's going to be a, a small, you know, a narrow one because it is just the one signature. And I do have my papers at least picked out, but we will work on those next time. 
I just mainly wanted to come out today and get this part done with you guys. Okay. And I think it's right about there according to the other piece. Okay. And I do have some ribbon that I want to put on the inside for where the fabric was kind of short. So, um, oh, no, I, okay. I just wanted to get my screen figured out there and then I kind of snapped it a little bit. Anyway, yeah. There we go. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and glue, while I have the glue out, this ribbon that I had in my stash that I thought would be really cute. Because it does have red and black in here. And I thought I would just put it like right on the edge of where this is kind of showing. It won't show any stitching, but I don't care. It's just going to be on the sides here. The top and bottom are fine. But I figured I'll do this as a quick fix. <laughs> There's always something that we can do to fix something, make it better, or what have you. So I decided to do that. I was racking my brain. What, what, what? And... I happen to think that I had this buffalo check pattern ribbon, or yeah, ribbon, I guess, in my stash. And so I thought, oh, that would be perfect. And when I laid it out here, I was like, yep, that's, that's going on. Okay, put that down. Cool. Get my scissors here. And right there. Okay. Yay. Okay. Now I'm just going to flip it around and do the other side. And have this drying while oh, we are doing our other items. So I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm filming this on the day that I'm posting it. I wanted to get it done early and schedule it, but oh, it didn't work. Didn't happen. Too many other things to do. So I didn't get it done, but we're here now. Switched up too far. There we go. And bring it on up. And right about there. There we go. Cool. All right. Yep. That's going to look cute. I like that. And we got him in the other side all glued down nice okay now let's get this out of the way i want to get let me put these away as well sorry i have to have things out of my way <laughs> otherwise i'm in a mess okay what i want to do first is glue this fellow on here and I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac again, or Fabri-Fix, sorry, Fabri-Fix again because it is good for paper and fabric and anything in between. Okay, put him there. All right. Okay. 
sorry about my crooked fingers. I have um, osteoarthritis, and so my fingers, yeah. And I'm no spring chicken. I'm 69 now. Hard to believe, but yeah, I turned 69 in September. And yeah, I um, can't believe it. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to decide. I would really like him right there. Like that. And do I want the candy cane like that? Or do I want it like that? I like how the hook is this way. I think I'll do it like that. So I'll get that on first. Yeah, I got these little clay candy canes um, on Amazon because I wanted to try the sugaring of the confections <laughs> is what Tim Holt, I learned it on Tim uh, Holt's uh, Holiday Hoopla, the part two. And a lot of times it's kind of hard to, you know, watch all of it because a lot of it I don't do and I don't care to. <laughs> so now I'm wondering if I want him here. Do I want him here or do I want him here? Oh, decisions, decisions. Um, because it's going to be folded like that, I would have to glue down all... Well, I wouldn't necessarily have to. I think I'm going to leave it here and then just go underneath here and let these loose. What? Why not? Why not? So anyway, yeah, sometimes I like to watch his... Um, videos, even though they're very, 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 very long. I watch them in parts and pieces and sometimes just kind of skip through to the things that I like to do and want to learn more about. And this one was one I was like, oh, I can do that. I have the rock candy. And I had gotten the big bottle of it too because it was different. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll show it to you. It is this rock candy. I have this small jar that I used out of for, for doing these, but um, I thought I really like this and it's plastic so I can use it after, but it'll take quite a while for me to use all this. <laughs> so right now I have it up here as like a little decoration type thing for now. Okay. Yeah, I need cute. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Um, now I wanted to see about getting my I made these pockets yesterday. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. I had started some um, Sunday afternoon, but um, after church, but I just, I wanted to do a whole bunch more. So I did do some more pockets like this, only for top loading for in this journal. So, I thought I would put one right here and then the other one over here. And I'll bring it up just a little bit and in just a little bit. So it's just kind of on the edge of that ribbon. I think that'd look kind of cool. And again, here's the spine straight up and down here from in between these paper clips. All right. Yep. It's a done deal. 
and then I have some decorations that I can put on here. Okay, right here and right here. Right about there. Yeah, I just took some scrapbooking paper out of a pad that I've had for a couple years at least. And I'm still using out of it. Um, that's real kind of rustic Christmas type. And um, just cut them to how I wanted them. And I wanted pockets like this in here. And I wanted some red. So that's how I came about it. I just got on a, it was just on a whim that I decided to do that. And then out of some scrap paper from some other things that I made, um, I did some more decoration type things. I made some of those. So yeah. I'll put a little something on these. And <laughs> I was cutting some stuff out. It was a whole sheet of uh, different things on it. It was kind of collage type. Anyway, I cut this out and it had a place for a slot punch here, a small one, and I happen to have that exact size. I have both the small and the large and I decided, oh, I'll cut that out and put some curly ribbon through that I get at Scrap Cabin, my Scrap Cabin on Etsy, and put that through and thought, there you go, a decoration for, you know, in my journal here. And then this one I had cut out, cut out from the same one and I put little tiny brads on it. Cute. See, just little brads. So, I was playing yesterday. <laughs> and then um, next week, I, between now and next week, I'll get the signature sewn onto the hidden spine and glued in so that we can just start in from there with decorating and such. But I kind of wanted to get, um, let's see, there's one that I cut out. That's right there. Um, I made some circles out of that paper for whatever. I just punched over where the words were and voila. Just from whole punch, from uh, my big punch and then my smaller punch. So yeah, you can do that. There's another one. So I was busy. <laughs> busy playing. Um this one, I was kind of thinking of that. Merry Christmas. I'm trying to see if I have some smaller ones, or bigger ones, actually. There's that one that I cut out and distressed. Mm -hmm. um, plus, I have a whole plethora of stuff that I have cut out. Um, of digitals and see this one just really small oh oh that one will go good there's that one that I cut out and distressed okay I'm gonna go ahead and put that guy there I'm going to close my 
Fabra fix so I don't get it dried out and use my art glitter glue my all-time favorite okay and then we'll put that there yep there we are cute 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 Cute, cute. I'm still learning how to get this up to the camera. There we go. Yeah. Okay, and then this one, I think I'll go ahead and leave that there. And put that on. Okay. There, real simple. And then I wanted to um, get those little snowflakes out. I thought I had left them out and I put them back in my drawer set. But here they are here. Ouch. Um, I had gotten these from Pamela Joy Art Friends. Oh, long time back. And thought, well, we can put them different places to decorate. Let me close him up, otherwise he gets persnickety. All right, there we go. Let's see, where is the end? Here we go. See, I just cut them off this strand and use them that way. Because I'm not going to be using them on this strand at any point. Where's that? Do we need another one on there? Where's the end? There we go. Let's try this. Yeah! That adds to it. Cool. Okay. Let's get it glued on. I'm going to put it on the paper because it's too hard to glue the little pearl thing itself. Do that. And we'll do that. Here we go. Here we go with that one and with that one. It's kind of hard to show it to you with my camera set up right there. But anyway, there it is. Okay. And the thing I like about art glitter glue is it dries very quickly, which is great. Okay. So we've got that. Um... I don't think we need anything else on here. And I think we're good here. I'm just going to keep this one kind of quiet decoration wise and this one just kind of simple. It just, um, yeah, I think it's adorable. So anyway, that's all I had planned for today. Um, for Saturday, I plan on having the, actually, let me show you the papers for this project that I have picked out. Let me grab everything here. I have a whole bunch of stuff here for this project. <laughs> okay, yes, I have been a busy girl. These are envelopes that I need to put together for it and all the other stuff that I've collected for this. It's going to be for this project and for many others. But I also made some vellum envelopes. And I took out my little uh, edge puncher and added this, made this shorter and added it on and then put circles from that paper or a couple different papers. And there's your closure. Just like that. Pretty cool, huh? So I made a whole bunch of them, but I put like four of them in black and red 
for here. Here's my spine that I will put the papers onto. And then the papers are these digitals with this kit that I've done front and back on each one. Got them folded. Isn't he cute? Little fox. So let's get it apart here. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Real soft coloring. And here's another one. The little birds and the pine cones. And I want to put a dangle on this. Um, and I bring it on the back on the spine that will have little pine cones. I've got those on order. They should be here today. I'm hoping and praying that they will be here today. <laughs> yeah. I just printed it on the back. And then the papers, this is an um, old label, vintage label, and a vintage uh, recipe book page. Homemade muesli breakfast cereal. And then um, I have this bag that I've coffee dyed here. And another large bag that I've coffee dyed. And they smell so good. <laughs> if you drink coffee like I do, it, oh, yeah, it smells wonderful. And the pan I have leaves these lines, and I just love it. So I did these doilies some time back. And then here's the bubble dyeing that I do. Isn't that neat? I do it on both sides and then bake it just a short time because it, it's really fast at drying. And my sister, um, the crafting auntie, she loves getting this paper. She doesn't want to deal with it. So, oh, would you make me some? So anyway, I'm sending her some other things. And I said, okay, now what else do you want? And so I said, I can do some bubble dyed paper. Yes, yes, she was all over that. This is tea dyed paper. And then I have a couple pages of vintage music. Those are a couple of pages of that. And then coffee dyed journal page. Not journal. Well, is it a journal? Anyway, that one. Um, and some of these will be folded so that they'll be pockets too. Here's a great big registry vintage paper. And I went by the height of my journal, by the height of these documents. So I went with the highest, tallest one. Here's another one. I have no idea what it says in, in a uh, Finnish language in Finland. And here's another journal page with the holes in it. And this is Braille paper. Pretty cool. Yeah, so you can see the little knobs on there. So these are the papers that I have chosen for the signatures. So I will get them all folded up and put together the way I want to have them. And get them sewn onto the hidden spine and that I have right here and go from there. Yeah, so I'll get that done this week and then on Saturday we can start decorating together. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. It wasn't very long. It was about a half an hour. That's okay. And But we'll work a lot more on Saturday on decorating and working toward getting this done. So you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you on Saturday. So be looking for that video. And you guys have a wonderful week. See you next time. Bye.